Yo, what is up everybody? It is your man Robot back for another video and in this video we are playing Project Slayers. Now I'm recording this video before the release happens but this video is most likely coming out around release time. Now if you don't know, this game is actually coming out for free and I'm going to pull up the release date. I believe the release date is on July 15th for Project Slayers. Now another thing you want to note with this release is I believe on July 15th it's coming out on 4.30pm EST. And for like most people, there's different time zones, of course. So what I'll say is 4.30 p.m. EST, well, it's 3.30 p.m. CST, and then 1.30 p.m. PST. Those are the three time zones I can remember off the top of my head. But when it comes to like European time zones and stuff, I don't really know when it's coming out in those time zones. But if you join the Discord chat, and I'll put the Discord chat link in the comment section of this video, if you join the Discord, You'll be able to see that um, they have an announcement in the announcements channel that says a link to an announcement page where you can see a countdown for the free release of the game. So just keep that in mind when you do want to play Project Slayers on July 15th, which as I'm recording this is actually very soon. It's only six days away I'm recording this video, but it's probably on the day of the video. The actually no, I think I'm going to be releasing this video maybe a day or two before. I'm not too sure. You'll see it when it happens. I'm actually not too sure when I'll release it. Where am I going to teleport to? Who am I going to fight? Let's go to the Slash Redeeming and fight Nezuko real quick. But yeah, when it comes to the release of this game, I might make a level up guide of some sort because I recently made a new slot on the game and I leveled up that save. But it was a little bit difficult. One thing I will say is, in my opinion, there is no easy, quick way to level up unless you're like repeating the same quest 30 times. And don't be surprised if you see a video from me or other people where they say this is how you level up fast and you're legit just doing that. So just keep that in mind. There's no really special way to level up in this game in my opinion, other than doing a sequence of quests and knowing the quests you gotta start off with and getting them done. And then just reading the EXP that you get or at least trying to notice the EXP you get. While also trying to level up things like you can't get a sword at first in the game, you could buy one, but you could just start using your punch, your fist mastery. And with that, you can level that up if you're gonna become a demon and some stuff like that. But it's a little bit difficult. I meant to set my spawn. Oh, perfect dodge. Perfect dodge. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I missed. No. Oh, you know, I've gotten a little bit better at fighting mobs ever since I became a demon in this game, because as a demon, you got to do so much work to not get hit. You have to avoid the sunlight. Everything is just not easy for a demon. Oh, I thought I killed her for a second because of that floor effect. Boom. Was good, Nezuko. Oh, I meant to press space bar, but I pressed F. Ah, she's burning me. Come here. Ah, okay, okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. There's a skill issue clearly right here. There's a skill gap. Oh, I almost missed that one. Woo. Ripple thrust. All right. She's just faster. She's just better. Come here. And right in the air. Boom, 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 boom. Water serpent. What the? I thought I did water serpent first, but I guess I didn't. Okay. Well, yeah, with the release of this game, what are you guys looking forward to? Comment down below which breathing you're going to go with. I'm assuming a lot of people are going to go with Thunder. I feel like Thunder is going to be a pretty common one in terms of just the amount of people that like Thunder and stuff like that. I think Main also went Thunder. I'm not too sure. But a lot of people seem to like that. And in this game, it's actually pretty good as far as I can tell. It's a very, I think it's a combo heavy uh, build from what I remember. I remember seeing a few people fight with Thunder, like Sage and them. Oh, I already died. I didn't even realize my HP was that low. I knew it was halfway at one point, but I didn't realize it was so low. Okay, respawn Robo, and there we go. We're gonna fight as we go. Oh, I should have used my Indomitable Will skin because that, our skin skill, because that lets me do this. Freeze. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come here. Come here, you're, you're gonna die, bro. Okay, I spoke too soon, but one thing I will say is the reason why I'm pre-recording this video is because I'm gonna be going on vacation. It's not just any vacation. With this vacation, it's gonna be another meetup with the dudes, the crew, and all that stuff. It's gonna be Sage, Timmy, myself, and some others. I think Nano's also showing up. We got Doge coming too. We got some new people coming too, which is pretty exciting. You might know them from past videos and stuff or past games that you might might have played. But I'm really looking forward to seeing my friends. Some of them I'm meeting for the first time, but some of them I've already met when we did that meetup last time. If you check Twitter at Roadball01, oh, if you check my Twitter, you'll be able to see a post from months ago where a bunch of us did a meetup with Main. Uh, Regis, if you remember him, we had Doge, we had Timmy, Timbo Slice, we had Sage and Nano. 
it was such a fun experience but with this meetup we're trying to hoop again i might make a video of us hooping i'm not too sure you'll see i think nano and sage plan to do a rematch so that's going to be exciting if we can get that done i'm not too sure if we'll be able to find a gym to hoop in but we'll see we'll see but actually i think in a little bit i'm gonna end this video i don't want to record for too long and keep you guys waiting on a video because it's just an announcement for the release of this game i don't want to dilly dally keep it too long but i'm really excited for this game i'm trying to get my Giyu skill i've heard from people that the level 46 skill for water breathing is broken or glitched so maybe i'll ask if it's still that way and if it is then i'll probably do a water showcase but if it isn't i might just still do a water showcase like even if it's not broken and i don't know i'll try to earn this skill in my own time but we'll see if i can get it done because we're traveling very soon but do me a favor, everybody, leave a like on this video if you are excited for the Project Slayer's release. Comment down below what breathing you're going to go with or if you're going to go demon. Either way, I think demons have it a little bit more difficult to level up and stuff like that because demons, uh, in order to run around in the daylight, you have to get the like hat that goes over your head. It's like a straw hat. It used to be an umbrella, but I think they changed the mesh for it to be a straw hat of some sort. So just keep that in mind. It's a little bit difficult for demons to be running around during the daytime. They can run under trees and shadows and stuff like that, but sometimes the shadows in the game aren't too accurate. But yeah, everything I said before, please do that. I would appreciate it if you did like and subscribe and all that stuff. I'm going to try to get some form of maybe one or two videos out for you while I'm on vacation. I'll try to get more, but I don't know how easy it'll be with the fact that there's going to be packing I have to do and a lot of traveling, but we shall see and i hope you guys are excited for project slayers as much as i am one thing i will say with project slayers i'll most likely make a video of some sort for beginner's guide i'm not too sure if i'll make a level up guide of some sort because i feel like the game like i said before it's not really a game where you can just make uh this is the easiest way to level up type of thing it's more so a game where you can make like a beginner's guide so people know hey this is how you do this this is how you do this all that stuff but yeah make sure you guys leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new to the channel Otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, one thing I do want to say is the game added clans. I didn't say that before. And the clans are actually pretty cool. I think I got like the Tomioka clan or something like that. I think my stats page shows it. Yeah, Tomioka. That one's like a 1% a chance or some sort, something like that. Like, so it's less than 10%. I know that much. But it's pretty cool. The Indomitable Will skill I showed you was like this. And I'll post the stat screenshot on the screen because I've had this open for days. The clan perks for the clan that I currently have, the Tomioka clan, it's a mythic. It has like plus three strength, plus three sword, plus 90 stamina, plus 100 HP, which is health, plus pain resistant, or you don't get pain resistance, I guess, or you have pain resistance, sorry. Indomitable will clan skill, and that's pretty much it. But there is like the, um, what's it called? Kamado clan, the Tanjiro's clan. And that one is broken. So in the future, I might try to get that. We'll see. I'm not too sure, because it's really difficult to get it. I know Main and Infernoxy spent a lot of money to get it, I think. I tried to get it on both my saves, but I wasn't able to. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe because till then, it has been Man Robot. I am signing out now. I'll see you all in the next video on Project Slayers or another game. But take care, everybody. He's a coward.